Hi, meow. Meow. And welcome to our channel. Today, we are doing a vampire. Ooh, for Halloween, of course. Yes, and it is a bubblegum themed vampire. <laughs> well, it turns out that. To start off with, it was like denim. 90s denim vampire. Yeah. <laughs> I, was, I was having a really rough day with colouring. Just wasn't happening for you. I think no. you tried, like, did five versions of this character. Well, I tried it beforehand, and that, before we started recording, and then I did what I thought was a great colour palette. No. No. And then <laughs> I did one after that, and then... We literally stopped the video, and I was gonna do. I did another color palette all together, and I'm like, "This one's gonna be great. This one's gonna be great." And I ended up doing bubble gum because um, yeah, rainbow yeah. candy. I was like, "That's so cool." You never see a vampire like that. They're always like black and mysterious and pouty face. Yeah, I think I'm just in a bubble gum mood now. That most of my coloring is gonna go bubble gum. I'm just <laughs> Rainbow. sick of our usual colour palette now, so I'm like, I want to do something different. Mm -hmm. And I was like, maybe denim. I don't actually use any of the dark blues to the light blues in that kind of area. So I was like, I'll do that. And no. And instead, you decided to go blue here, blue there, blue everywhere. <laughs> just all denim. Yeah, you can be fully denim. I don't use green either, and I was like, oh, maybe I should use green this time. And I'm like, no, I'm not that desperate. Well, we did end up using green. We used green on the armband and green on the lollipop. No, I mean like tree green, like tree grass green. green. <laughs> <laughs> I know, like green seems to be like a very hard colour to work in without it looking like it doesn't fit. Yeah. Like I, I don't really see much, many outfits and stuff like that that are actually green. It's not a very utilised colour. Mm. It's like when you walk outside, everything's bloody green. But as soon as you walk into some like a house or anywhere, it's like there's no green whatsoever. Everything's just beige. <laughs> it's all boring. So yeah, so this is for a Halloween contest. We're planning on doing a witch after this one. And I wonder who the witch is inspired by. Ooh, a couch. A couch. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like a broom with like a couch sitting on top of it <laughs> and then there's like just a cat sitting in the couch I think that would be hilarious but no so yeah this one the drawing I think I edited this drawing like 50,000 times I was like let's change this let's change that let's change this because it's like I wanted, I wanted to do something a bit different but I want to do a vampire because I like doing vampires mm. so um, the mouth, I think I went through a stage of he had no mouth for a while mm -hmm. because it just looked really, really bad. It was like Joker mouth, but 20 times worse and bigger. And here we've finally gone to what we actually like and I changed the hair orange. It was supposed to be more inspired by Velectro with like the light hair that was more blonde, but... It just looked washed out once we went bubble gum. Yeah. And it looked a bit gross, so we went with like a vibrant uh, orange hair colour because it mm. just it stood out so much and it really suited the vampire look. Yeah. So probably with the witch, they're not going to have ginger hair. It's going to be shift it's inspired. It's going to be like a yellow orangey hair instead. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. So just doing a, getting in there and you're doing all the nails, all different colours, which is cool. I really like that. Yeah, I Me was too. like, maybe I should do them all like pink because it'd be like bubble you know, gum. bright. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, hey, maybe I should do them all different colors. And that's yellow. That's not the background. It's <laughs> actually a yellow nail. Yeah, I thought that was cool because we never do male characters with colored nails. It's always like just normal skin well, naily color. I actually color it the like a watered down version of the hair or exactly the same color as the hair. But yeah. if it's like a really blokey bloke, then I'll probably just like, if I can get away with it, do it black mm -hmm. or skin tone. Yeah. So that was cool. Um, it was something different. And they really stand out, especially when they're holding the pole, when you see it at the end. Mm -hmm. And the cape changes colour again. Again, again, <laughs> again. <laughs> Everything is picture. And we realised that the line work got erased somehow, so I had to go in and fix it up. And I was just like, how the hell did that happen? Mm. Just random. 
So I had to go over that again, and then we get back to the colouring. Oh, oh, and it's a pumpkin patch. <laughs> we have to say that. I thought it was hilarious. He, Valectra's like, oh, by the way, it's a pumpkin patch. And I'm like, oh. Did you get it? Oh. I didn't even intend for that to happen, but then it happened, and I was like, oh, that's so genius. And on... Um, on the leg also is a little tiny kitty, yeah. and it's my color scheme because, yeah, you know, purple and yes. red yes. and black and black. Just minus the ginger hair. Yeah. Well, <laughs> there we go. Right there. Yeah. So onto the shading, which was just a burn and dodge treatment all over with lots of special effects. And I did the skin very like... Marble. I would marble, say marble. Yeah. Like non-saturated so it would be more like dead skin i don't know lifeless yeah yeah and i tried some tattoos again but this time it was just some stars because i really had fun doing gauges yeah and i thought it added a cool little witchy touch to it yeah he was gonna bring them all the way around the torso and i was like maybe that's a little bit too much of everything else going on yeah so i think that's a nice amount it looks cool he looks like, you know, awesome. <laughs> um, anything else? Uh, I really like the staff, how it's got the little bat on it. I think I'm going to put a, like, get you to do a bat in my picture. So then we've got, like, the bat, the cat, and it's like elements that come from this picture will go into the other picture. So it's like a complimentary one. Mm, so they're like, you know, uh, what's that word? It, that, there's a word for it. Complimentary? No, they're <laughs> both in the same universe, but there's another word. I forget. But Yalish uses it for like a, a series, in the same series. That's it. That's the word. Series. I like my word now. <laughs> Complimentary. <laughs> oh, what about you and your fancy ass words? I really like the arm guard in the two different colours. It kind of reminds me of like mint lollies. Mm. Like yeah. peppermint. You just want to lick it. Just mm. walk up to him and like he's on guard. He just looks at you like, what are you doing? <laughs> um, so yeah, so and then we fun. did the lollipop three different colours. It was originally going to be, you know, one of those... Red and white ones. Yeah, Classic, like yeah. the strawberry dip thing. Because I like them. But it looked um, better this way. I was like, ah, that's too cliche. Do mm. something different. Make a new flavour. So that's what that happened there. And the hair, we add this cool, like, yellow flaminess to the ends of the hair at the end. Yeah, he was like, do you want to put red on the end? Like, what do you want to do with the ends? And I was like, rather put red or yellow. Red will probably make the orange look really dull, where if you put yellow, it might make it look more like a fire. Yeah, and because I did, like, a new technique with the ends of the hair, it really looks like faint flame flickers. So the yellow really made it look like his hair was on fire. And when I was like, oh, this is so cool. <laughs> I was like, oh my God. I, I got to try this hair technique a lot more. And then I decided to do something new with the eyes too. I got rid of the pupil and the glow with the outline layer. Mm -hmm. And then I decided to just color the eyes in like this. And it gave it like this cool glassy eye instead. Yeah. So it was like very like deadish. Which I thought really looked cool on his face. He's going like a... Mm, to him now. And I did a turquoise colour for the eye instead of the normal blue or green. Kind of <laughs> combine them together. together. Oh no, it's not like we ever do any before. We never do a blue or a green eye. So what'd you do? A turquoise eye. <laughs> 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 and then just onto all the little straps and everything. And I, if you notice, I attached a cape to the two arm straps. So instead of it being like on a jacket, it's like it clips on. So if you get sick of it, you're like, oh, I don't want it on today. Mm. Oh, well, I originally done the um, chains, a silver, but they kind of blended together with everything else. Yeah, and the gold was just a better colour because it stood out more. Yeah, mm. it made it really pop more so you could actually see them better. Mm. And then here, I'm playing around with the nails, making them all shiny and stuff. And then onto the pants. The pants, they did that weird pink thing again. So I changed the opacity on them a little bit so it wouldn't turn pink and it would turn like white. And then I turned it back and then I did some more red overlays and I just did a lot of stuffing around with these pants yeah. to try and get them to work. Don't they look like velvet in the end? I was trying to go for leather but they, I don't think they really quite got leathery. I think they just look like 
red pants. Red pants. Red pants. Awesome. <laughs> like you know those like um, they're like a denim, but all those like bright colored pants that you can get from like clothes stores. Yeah. But then yeah. They, they're like denim, but they don't really look denim. No. Maybe they're denim without the ass would watch. Ooh, maybe. And then the boots. I tried to make like a white leather, but I've never actually seen like a white leather before. So I don't really know how shiny it's supposed to be or how dark it's supposed like to get. Like really old cars with the white leather seats. Yeah, but aren't they like beige or white? No oh, idea. Yeah. Don't mm. own a really old car. Yeah, but that's like thinking of like the same thing. You know how you get those really black leather boots that are like super shiny? I'm like, yeah. do you do that with white leather as well? Or does it not really work? Oh, I don't know. And then here's the pumpkin patch again. I think he looks pretty cool. Now, you can't really see him from zoomed out, but if you can, like, zoom in on him, he looks pretty cool. And then he's the kitten. It's so cute. You should totally name the kitten. kitten. Just this kitten should have name. Oreo Shadow. Oreo Shadow. <laughs> I like it. It's inspired. <laughs> and then on to the cape, and this is where it eventually changes colour. Yeah. Well, I like it this way, but I also like it the way that we're about to turn it. Um, this way kind of blends too much in with the Shadow of the Moon. Yeah, and um, I think the white cape helps tie in the shoes. Mm. And then the pink, because it's a bright colour, ties it in with the rest of everything else because it's all bright colours. Yeah. Where the black was kind of like... Didn't really match in with everything else that was going on. Yeah, it was just like... Because everything else is so bright and then that thing was just so dark and in your face. And then it kind of just ruined the flow. So when we turned it to white, it helped it out a lot. Yeah. Like... He was going through them, and he's like, what do you prefer? And then it inverted the colours, and I was like, honestly, I like the white a lot more. <laughs> so then I had to go in and do more shading on it, because when I turned it white, most of the shading went bye-bye. Mm -hmm. So I went in, and then I just used a dark grey to go over it so it didn't go too dark, because the burn tool was just making it go way too dark. Yeah. So and... That's it. And then I used a little bit of burn just where the shadow from the body would cast it and like in the deep divots of the cape just to give it that bit more dimension. Now, with the lollipop, I did the three different colours that were all like semi-cool colours. Mm -hmm. So they would all complement each other. Yeah. And I did every single third one. Oh, really? Yes. And I think that's better. Like, you ha I had more colours to work with and then just the white and the red. Yeah. And I think... The three colours just give it, make it more interesting and cooler to look at. And then the bat wings on the bat, I like how they turned out. I like indented the bone structure, if that's what it is. is that, do they have bones in their wings or is it like mm -hmm. a cartilage? Oh, sorry, nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> so yeah, so I did that and then I'd like, I did the light effect. I'm like, oh, that looks really cool. I was just going to do like... I didn't even know what I was going to do with the wings. Yeah. And then I just sat on a whim and I was like, oh, okay. When I was colouring in the eyes in the original picture of mm -hmm. all the little creatures everywhere, yeah. I coloured them in all red and I'm like, I'm pretending like I'm giving them a glow effect right now. And then when you're like shading it, you're like, do you like the glow effect? I'm like, yes, I was totally imagining it like that. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. It's like, you read my mind. <laughs> And then I think now I go on to doing the background. Pretty sure I'm done with everything, yeah. So the background, you know, background. I think I just did like a bluish light to dark gradient with a couple of stars and that was it. <laughs> I like the little outline you put around the character to make them stick out more, like bold I, in them. I get rid of that. You do? Yeah. Well, I don't like it then. <laughs> okay. Whatever good you show. do looks good. <laughs> <laughs> like, he was trying to do, like, a, you know, a galaxy background, but I think I just went over the top with it. Mm. It just looked, yeah, messy. And it didn't suit the vampire, so I was like, I got rid of all of this eventually, and then just went with just straight up a blue to black gradient. Like, this reminds me of the TARDIS, you know, how it, where it's like, yeah. wheeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee